6,125 pounds. This is the definition of late model and pretty much like new, a 287 J Flight SLX bunkhouse superside with bathroom entry door here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Again, we sold it to its one and only original owner who was a uh, multi time Halet RV client, local business owner. Took very good care of it, and good lord, this is one heck of a windy day. One of the things that uh, really kind of has helped make J Flight the single best selling thing out there on the market is their taller six foot nine interior. Um, if you're uh, really curious about the nuts and the bolts of this, I mean, obviously we're a Jayco dealer. We're the largest independent dealer of Jayco RVs in the state of Michigan, which is one of the largest states for RV sales. So we know our way around these things very well. Really what I want to show you here is that you're not inheriting someone else's problems. They weren't towing this camper. They just had it parked at like a seasonal site and they were so happy with it, they just upgraded to a larger J flight. In fact, a bungalow like 40 foot, um, you know, couples camping type thing. I think the plan with this one is that they might do some towing, they might bring some grandkids or something, and unfortunately just never came to pass. Uh, I mean, this thing is so late model and so recent. This is called the Havana Decor, and they're still using this today. This even still has the same fabrics as the J Flights coming off the production line today. Little details are nice too, like the individual bunk curtains. Um, now, you might notice on the left side there, you see some silvery bolts. Well, the previous owners had gone through in a couple areas and mounted some TVs. And other than their TV mounts, I don't really see anything you could classify as a blemish here uh, beyond factory. So it's it's like getting a pretty much new camper to used RV price tag. Now, Jake RV spends a little more money to build their own ladders. So this is barefoot friendly for the little kiddos, which is something I think a lot of people appreciate. Now, next to your bath over here, you've got uh, from floor to ceiling, six foot nine inches of both pantry and closet with dresser drawer storage. And there's no one that's ever told me their camper has too much storage. Little details like the fact that the refrigerators are magnet friendly is a nice little touch. Um, you might have noticed when we were outside, if you're not familiar with this one, this does have a direct entry bathroom door. But you may also notice this thing has an absolutely enormous shower pan. It is one of the signature calling cards of this. Now this, uh, these bolts over here, I, I think I, when I saw those, they reminded me, like in the bedroom, you'll see where there was a TV mount for the main entertainment center. The bolts sticking through the bunkhouse wall were for this little storage organizer, obviously. So we do have a full skylight and a power vent fan. When you are here at an entry level tag or price point, you will often run into things that, you know, have one or the other or not both or neither or, you know, whatever the case may be. Now that uh, bathroom door, it does deadbolt. So, uh, you know, if you are using the bathroom, you don't have to worry about somebody walking in from outside. All of our shades are a pleated night shade. You'll see that the windows do open for airflow. There's a power outlet right between the sofa and dinette as well, which is also a popular thing for, you know, keeping phones and stuff charged up. Both the sofa and the dinette can fold down into sleepers. They both have storage below. And this is what I was meaning by uh, where TVs were added. Uh, the previous owners had installed a big heavy-duty TV bracket here in the entertainment center. Those bolts will be peeking through the opposite side of the RV. They had them out on a big old swing arm so they could make the TV face the uh, uh, sofas. Uh, entry area, shoe garage with this handy little boot bench and coat rack right by the entry door. Helps cut the clutter and keep this thing clean. All of our cabinetry is pocket screwed. It is designed to be, you know, towed down the road, bounced around, and uh, not fall apart. There is room for a wastebasket below the sink because there is not a shelf in the way. And you do have a pair of full extension plywood drawers down here to help, uh, you know, give, give you a place to keep your forks and spoons and knives. They might notice below those drawers there's a cabinet heat duct so that you don't have heat ducts in the floor. This is not intended to be a Four Seasons camper or anything remotely close to a cold camping thing. It's a spring, summer, fall family casual camper. Uh, so uh, cabinet ducted heating makes sense in that, especially with kids coming and going, it will help greatly reduce the amount of dirt and stuff that is trekked through the camper. So, uh, you know, up here, even in the bedroom, everything looks pretty much the way it did the day she rolled off the assembly line. Although, once again, you will see a signature where the folks mounted uh, a TV bracket in the living area, and they did have a TV installed up here. But this camper didn't include those things. They weren't scavengers. They just put it back the way that they found it when they got it. Back outside, still windy. Hopefully that doesn't chew up the camera too much. You do have a big power awning on this one. It does have easy tilt arms. And if you look up top, you'll notice the speakers are actually mounted at the end of the awning arms. 
when it's retracted, it helps point them down toward your campsite a little bit, but when the awning is open, which is usually when you're going to be hanging out in the patio listening to music, they really point down at your site. Huge pass-through here that does go all the way under the bed. You'll find that all the exterior lights on this are LED, not just the tail lights, but your markers and everything else too. Um, Jayco does have an integrated A-frame, the, the tongue of the trailer, for, for you know different explanation of it. Um, it helps keep the body of the camper a little lower to the ground. It's one of the ways that they're taller inside without being taller outside. It also helps your center of towing gravity. But you might notice that front diamond plate really wraps all the way down to help protect the front of that chassis from stones, which could be the beginnings of potential uh, corrosion points. And not only do the windows open for airflow, but they're heavily UV tinted. That gives you more privacy and it keeps the camper cooler because it helps keep the sun out of this thing. Now, uh, there uh, is storage below that uh, bunk system over there. We do have a, uh, a gas electric water heater right here to make, you know, taking hot showers and all that nice and easy. We also do have a full outside shower on the back of it, which is nice. Um, the uh, idea there is whether it's cleaning fish, rinsing off kids' toys, rinsing off the kids themselves, that thing is always, always handy. But on an entry-level camper, you don't always find features like that. That's, you know, little things like that, those those are sort of some of the reasons why Jayco's aren't always the cheapest RV in the market, but they've been the number one seller in the class for a long, long time. Now, this is late model enough that it does have Goodyear Endurance radial tires. Those are rated for up to 87 miles per hour, which is pretty impressive. You shouldn't even be driving that fast towing a trailer, frankly. And they are below a galvanized steel wheel well. <coughs> Pardon me. So, if you do catch some debris on the road, even if your tire is properly inflated, even if the tire is not too hot, if you catch a nail on the road or something like that, you could still have a flat. This camper is built to help withstand any sort of impact from a ripping apart radial tire and give you time to get limped off the road and swap out the spare, which itself has never been used. So, I've probably talked more about this one than I need to. It's clean, it's sharp, there's nothing wrong with it. Give us a call, we'll get you camping. 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.